My name is Jack Ventil. Thanks for tuning in to the Only Talk 101. Very special guest today. Last minute, obviously. Thanks for for uh, allowing to, to come on here, Cam Bedrojan. Hopefully, I pronounced that right. That's you right. can correct me. Uh, so you are pitcher right now for the Burlington Bees. You guys have struggled this year. What 25 and 37 maybe as your teammates are throwing uh, sunflower seeds at you. But uh, <laughs> you are obviously the uh, official to the uh, Angels. Now watching the draft go down. You were drafted what two years ago, three years, three ago, years ago, 2010. Yep. First rounder out of high school. What was that experience for you and what what was behind the decision to end up uh, signing with this Angels club? Well, I knew that I wanted to play pro ball, so um, it was pretty easy for me when I got drafted. I'd, I was hoping to go first round and end up going first round, and uh, once I did, I just I knew I wanted to play pro ball and start my career. So. I uh, signed the papers and now I'm here. Absolutely. Now, it's been somewhat of a, a journey here. Now, this is your uh, third, second, third season now playing minor league baseball. You guys are struggling as a team. What can be said? Is it kind of just because the Angels, not the best of uh, draft picks of recent and maybe haven't been able to build that nucleus of a powerful uh, minor league team? Or do you think that you guys are underperforming to date? Underperforming, I, I believe, man. We, we, have, we have some good guys here that can throw, hit, uh, run, play some defense. And it's just putting it together uh, the past couple of years been tough like you said but I really think we have a lot of good guys and we have got guys coming in now from this draft that should be good too. Yeah absolutely the Angels uh, obviously starting a little bit at the major league level getting better draft picks now where do you see yourself going uh, what can be said about your performance this year and then in the future how do you see yourself performing the next few years maybe double A and moving up on the ladder? Well this is my second year in uh, Midwest League uh, A ball um, I had Tommy John in 2010 after getting drafted, so I was out for a year. Yes, uh, last year was my first year in uh, actual full season, so it was kind of a learning curve coming back from it. This year I feel a lot better. I've had a pretty good year so far. Um, hopefully, man, within the next year I'll be um, in Double A or so, and then um, I'll be at Rule Five. So hopefully soon I'll get to the big leagues. Yeah, absolutely. Now you said Tommy John surgery. Uh, so how is that coming back to that your secondary stuff? Did that take a while to adjust and feel comfortable throwing uh, the curve and all those pitches again, or and do you feel like you're you're at kind of where you were before the Tommy John, or are you still kind of recovering in a way? It's tough. It's uh, some guys, you know, they come back first year, they come back throw harder, they they're better. Uh, for me. That wasn't the case. I came back. My my uh, velocity was down. My curveball couldn't find it. Uh, Changeup wasn't really wasn't really that good. And um, like I said, I struggled last year a lot as a starter. Now I'm in the pen. And I feel a lot better. My velocity's back up. I have a good slider. Um, so it, it's just one of those feel things. Some guys get it in the first year. Some guys it takes a little longer. So. Yeah, absolutely. The, the hope there is uh, you watching Adam Wainer. I mean, he had a tough year last year, but he is kind of expected the first few months coming back, having a Cy Young year this year. So, Cam, great talking to you as always. Thanks for coming on the show, and best of luck to you and your Thanks, team. Thanks, guys. Sir. Appreciate it. Yep, absolutely.